when I pressed play on that Drake album, I said, what the f*** is this? <laughs> I said, what yeah. in the world Got is em. this sh And I just like, bro, that shock value, like you just said, I get it and I respect it. And only certain artists can do that and still pull people in to actually understand what they're doing. So yeah, yeah man. you know, I'm not going to play it every day. You know, I play my, my pushers. But I but there Kendrick, will be a, yeah, there will be a, a convertible there will be a convertible rental car doing a long drive on a sunny day with you and your lady and that's going to pair up real nice you know what I'm saying on a nice sunny day drive vibing you will be at a pool party that's with true. a lot of things laying out glistening and that drizzy drake will be blaring and vibing in the background <laughs> Rap Life Review, y'all. We here, man. Ebro and Low. It's time to get it cracking this week. We got some things to talk about. Yeah, man. Nadeska got caught on the train, man. Yeah. Police activity pond the train. New York City vibes, man. That's how it goes down around New York. Summer, summer in New if you York. Ain't been, if you ain't been stuck on a train and they mm -hmm. say police activity, hopefully she is on one of the air-conditioned cars. If she's not, Woo, especially come from Brooklyn. It's not yeah. what you want. It's not what you want to smell either. Let's, just be, let's keep it honest. It's not a vibe. It's not what you want. First and foremost, I want y'all to make sure y'all tune in. Lil Durk. He's coming to Apple Music Live June 29th. Lil Durk, make sure you lock in and check it out. I uh, had a great conversation with him, too. I want them to leave like, man, that's my real family. That's my brother. I want them to leave with that energy. Like, I really love him. I'm going to bat every shirt in his <laughs> room. Lil, you saw the performance? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you expect what you saw? It was satisfying. I was, I was, I was pleased. I've seen, I've seen some of his shows, and I think this was a little bit more intimate. But I think that's why it kind of just satisfied me. He played to the crowd, had fun, played the hits. Uh, this week we gotta dig in this Kevin Gates album. We're gonna talk about that. Lupe Fiasco about to drop some heat. Gotta salute Kevin Gates on that new album, Kaza. That's out here. Fire Kevin Gates if you're a Kevin Gates fan. He absolutely delivered. And big up Lupe Fiasco one for uh, giving us a record called Galveston for the Juneteenth 2022 Freedom Songs playlist, exclusively on Apple Music, and his new project, Drill Music in Zion. I think I said I think the title I, right. Yeah, yeah. We were Drill about Music in Zion, yeah, we was just peeping some of it. Uh, but big up to them. But you know where I want to start? Let's start with Drake. And the reason I want to start with Drake um, is because I believe Drake knew Beyonce was about to drop. She was going to drop. Last night. I said the same thing last night. So Drake was like, let me hurry on up and get, get this, this out. out the door. Mm -hmm. Because he knows people have a short memory and they're going to think that he's following Beyonce. Meanwhile, Drake been dropped dance records before. Not to this capacity. Not a full project. Yeah, but not to this capacity. What do you mean by that? I mean, we got the controller. We got one dance. Like, those were nice Passion little... Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Those were what nice. What was the joint with Georgia Smith and Black Coffee? Get it get it together to redid the Black Coffee right Yeah, I, I feel like those were dance hall vibes. No, nah, they was dead. I mean, okay, whatever you feel. Go ahead. That's, on, go no, ahead. I, they felt more Caribbean to you is what you Right, said. yeah, yeah. Okay. This is just more house music. Okay. So I'm just very curious as to where, I mean, obviously you want your artists, your favorite artists to elevate and to, you know, um, you know, stretch their creativity. Were we happy with this? No, because we didn't expect it. Who's we? The Drake fans. All Drake fans? If, I, if I'm looking at my social media, yes. Okay. A majority of the Drake fans were, were displeased with what they heard because they didn't expect that, right? After we lived with it for a couple days, it was cool. Once you reset, calibrated. Once you reset your mind from your Cleansed your, your sonic palate, then you came back like, at oh, it. Oh, like, okay, I get uh, it. Uh, I respect uh, it. Okay. And then he said, uh, I think he was on IG Live, he said, we're getting a Scary Hours 3 pack. So he gonna drop something for so that? Yeah, for, for us. Well, so when you say for us, you're not talking about me. I just want you to no, know No, because what we were just saying in here earlier, you said you didn't hear a damn thing he said on the album, but the vibes was... As soon as the first note I heard on this, I was like, oh, let, oh, Drake, we back. Yo, Drake, thank you, Drake. Thank the you. The vibes and, are up. And the, the title, honestly, well, A, I had got wind that there was this was a that house album. This was going to be different. Okay. I had got wind, so I kind of was... Did you expecting. know this was coming, period, or just... Did I know the project was coming? Yes, I had heard. I didn't know when, okay. but I had heard that he was cooking up something that was house music. Okay. I didn't know nothing. Then when I heard it and saw the title, it really started to make sense. Because so wait, I don't why, think yeah, people Why are, does the title make sense? Because I'm trying to still figure out, honestly, never mind, like where 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 is that tie in with the music or what's the message he's trying I to I think say? he's ba I, I think the message is like I'm not playing 
y'all game or I'm not playing to y'all's expectation of what I'm supposed to be doing. Honestly, never mind. So it's like, honestly, I'm cool. While we love Drake and hip hop, yeah. Drake has made no qualms or no kind of, never made issue with the fact that he's trying to be the biggest artist, artist yeah. to have ever done this. Yeah, and I, 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 respect, I respect the attempts. I can say that. I respect his attempts. Does it mean I have to like it? No. No, 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 no. Does it this mean I have that. to sit there and say like, oh my God. No, absolutely oh, not. No. I don't think I don't think you're like, you have to like the album or yeah. you have to, I don't think none of that. I don't believe that to be true at all, especially if you have a certain expectation of Drake. There's a, there's a Drake fan that is still waiting for the classic hip hop album from Drake. And you, he titled this album for you. That That's me. Honestly. Never mind. Don't even check for this. He gonna give you a no, scary but hours. I, yeah, and I but I appreciate the attempt, and I like that he took the the leap. I like that he took the. the yeah. I like that. I of do course. like it. But do I have to like the actual no. content? No. No, you don't. You're not obligated to. I'll I'll also put this out there. I believe that Drake is showing his range. Yeah. And once again, separating himself from kind of the what is known as the the top tier hip hop hierarchy, and saying I can do more than just yeah rap. And Pusha and Kendrick have put out phenomenal projects. Yeah. Let me go ahead and show y'all my range. Show you where I can go. Because I don't want to just be compared to those projects. Because let's be honest, Drake can't do that, what Kendrick is doing. He hasn't done. And if he can, he hasn't. So that, all right, so that begs the question, is he running? I don't think he's running. He's Or avoiding. I don't running think he's avoiding. Different. I don't think in his mind he's avoiding. I think in your mind as a hip hop fan who wants to see the, the... You don't feel the same way? No, I don't think he's avoiding. Okay. I think he's saying that, honestly, never mind. I don't even compete like that. He's not letting hip hop dictate how the competition's gonna go. But when we talk about an album like this, this is not, we're not talking about competition, we're talking about range like you said, right? So I don't even think well, of... I, the reason I brought up competition is because when we talk about Drake doing a classic hip hop album, when we talk about hip Drake in the hip hop context, he never would do a full hip hop album. He said that. So he's letting you know off top. Honestly, never mind. I love the fact that Drake got this out the door, and Beyonce gave us some real, you know, black real American you know, house, 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 house. You know, Drake's is very Euro, but leans into some house yeah. too. Uh, but then Beyonce came through with the Robin S sample, the Big Frida bringing it right back home to, you know, a, a real black American dance music, house music. And my man, you know, Kaz, Kaz, we were, me and Kaz were talking about, talking about this last night. He was like, yo, they, they, we're not trying to be depressed. We're not trying to remember what we've been through for the last two years. We're trying to dance. And I feel like Drake and, and Beyonce have set that tone and I'm glad they set that tone and I want to dance and I want to get to the clubs and, and I don't know what Beyonce's Renaissance album comes out July 29th. I don't know what that's going to be like, but this is already a feel good vibe. Renaissance Act One, which means act there's, one, yeah. there's a more part to come. two. Yeah, and then she's um, going on tour. I right? think the Renaissance is what you're saying too. It's the, it's the club. It's the dancing. Mm -hmm. It's the, you know, uh, up tempo. It's you know maybe some throwback samples. Is there a shifting of of the of the sound? Um, I don't know. I think that you know Beyonce and Drake are you know obviously two of the biggest the biggest artists in yeah. the world. Um, and what they're making will be considered popular music, pop music, of course, right? Of course. Um, so I don't know if it's going to influence others, the young acts that are coming up right now, but it may show young acts the range, right? Because I think in hip hop specifically, we have gotten very narrow mm -hmm. uh, in many ways, the what's popular, what's considered popular. Right. I think uh, in some regards, we've gotten very, um, not only narrow, but Redundant? Redundant's a phenomenal word. Yeah. Um, and I think that artists like Drake and Beyonce right now are saying, this is boring. Right. So honestly, never mind. I'm going to go do some other Yeah. I think they're also saying, you know, the clubs are whack. Look, when I go into clubs and I see 22 to 27-year-olds, I'm reminded that they never were in the club. 10 years ago. They just got in the club. Right. So their experience, they haven't even been in the club long enough to be there when it was people didn't have their phones, they was too busy dancing. You know, 
These kids don't know what it is to have a good time. They don't know these house music samples that. Drake but that's why I think it's yeah. great. It's Focus. a renaissance. Okay. Honestly, and, never mind. Like both both of those ideas are sh- saying to you, basically, we're going back to something or moving away from something. Right. And I don't know if it's going to influence a lot of artists, right. right? But I think I hope it influences many. Um. And I and I hope that uh you know this summer like Beyonce setting the record, we outside. There's got to be artists brave enough to take that leap, but. Drake and Beyonce have proven time and time again that, that not only can they stay in their lane and be phenomenal about it, but they can show their range as well. That's right. And I think that a lot of artists will start to feel confident enough to follow their lead. But they got to prove, other artists have to prove themselves in their their specific lane to begin with. Drake mm-hmm. and Beyonce have done that. So I don't know. And shout to a lot of the young artists um, all over the world um, and even hip hop producers that I know that make and have been making these dance records. K. Trinata. K. Trinata being one. Shout out to Channel Tress. Shout out to Nez out there in Chicago. Shout out to my brother No ID, been making house Mm -hmm. records forever. Mm -hmm. It's always been there. The electronic, the house, it's always been there. But with Beyonce and Drake moving into the forefront, I hope people, it, it just expands people's mind. And it should be noted too, and this is very important to me, cause I came up with the Jungle Brothers mm-hmm. and Queen Latifah, you know what I'm saying, and Q-Tip, and you know these artists making hip hop artists making dance records mm-hmm. that are you know 120 plus BPMs, mm-hmm. um, and it's been a part of the culture. even even when you go back and you listen to Planet Rock yeah. and Soul Sonic Force, it's BPM always is high. Always yeah. we've been in the clubs, we've been dancing, so. Once again, hip hop has gotten to a place and these shifts happen. And I'm glad this one was shocking too. Yeah. Like it came out of nowhere. People didn't really anticipate what no, was yeah, happening. No, yeah, I did not and expect that. When, when I pressed play on that Drake album, I said, what the f is this? <laughs> I said, what yeah. in the world Got is em. this? Shit? And I just like, bro, that shock value, like you just said, I get it and I respect it. And only certain artists can do that and still pull people in to actually understand what they're doing. So yeah, yeah man. You know, I'm not going to play it every day. You know, I play my my pushes. But, and I but my there Kendrick will be a, there yeah, will be a, a convertible. There will be a convertible rental car doing a long drive on a sunny day with you and your lady, and that's gonna pair up real nice. You know what I'm saying? On a nice sunny day drive, vibing. You will be at a pool party that's with true. a lot of things laying out, glistening. <laughs> and that Drizzy Drake will be blaring and vibing in the background. Uh, now. Let's focus on this ver- versus real quick. Okay. Um, it's an R&B versus. Yes, it is. Omarion versus Mario. Mario. Uh, there is a warm-up versus. This is something new they're doing. I think it's Ray Bobby J- Valentino. And Ray J. Ray J versus. versus Pleasure P. It's, yeah, yes, Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Very unique. Yes. It's like a tag team. I wish they implemented this early. Okay, tell us why. Because, it, it one, the verses always start late. This gives us an entertaining intro to what we're expecting for the night, right? Usually they have the DJs play, they're playing random <laughs> They're not setting the tone for the night. This, the tag team thing is setting the tone. This is, this is just, it's giving us the vibes of what we want to hear, what it's going to be. And I wish they did this. They, I wish they had lower tier acts with every battle in regards to hip hop, regards to the R&B stuff with, you know, Joe Scott and uh, Erica Badu. Um, this is something, this sh- it should have happened way earlier. But I'm glad they're doing it. And I'm glad that, you know, Ray J and Pleasure P and Sammy and them are getting their flowers as well. Omarion is about to smoke. Okay, well, Mario. Let's, let's be respectful. What do you mean? I love Mario. He's not gonna smoke him. He's gonna beat him? Yes. I don't think he's gonna smoke him. Because he can't play no B2K records. Why not? This is a one-on-one, bro. It's not group. So Versus, we'll, we'll man. Shout out to the Versus family. And one more time before we wrap, big up Nadeska. Yeah. She's safe. Everything's clean. And uh, shout out to Drake and Beyonce. Man, changing the game. I love every minute of it. And don't forget to lock in June 29th, Little Dirk, right here, Apple Music Live. And make sure you subscribe to this Rap Life Review. Click the button below where you're watching and add that Apple Music Rap Life playlist. I'm Ebro, he's low. Yeah.